My spirit was dying inside. I needed anything to, to numb it and, and try and make me happy. And if one line made me happy, two was definitely going to make me happier. At least that's how I felt. People don't realize this when they start, but over time, you literally change your brain chemistry. This is an unintended consequence. Did your drug use increase over time as you continued to use? A little amount will keep me you know, buzzed for a while. And then later on, it was just a constantly, every five, 10 minutes, I, I got to that point that I was just, day and night, that was my, that was my thing, just doing meth, doing meth, day and night. You start using more and more because it, it stops working. So you're trying to get that same effect by using more and more and more. Our brains adapt. Less dopamine, damage transporters, receptors that withdraw. These are the ways our brains develop tolerance to meth. The same dose doesn't produce the same effects. Of course, what we want is to get high. So we up the dose and our brains learn to tolerate even more. And the cycle continues. When everything in my life just came to a screeching halt and I thought that it was the end and I had nothing left, I slammed out. I changed methods of use. I went from snorting it to smoking it to shooting it. And uh, I just thought it was normal to do that. When the regular dose doesn't give us the same rush, we take more. But now when meth reaches the brain, it finds a lot less dopamine. Plus, meth has destroyed transporters. And on the receiving neuron, all that overstimulation we loved has caused receptors to withdraw. So it's just harder to get high. No matter how much meth we use, we can never recapture that first rush. I would get high maybe just for a minute. I mean, the, and then it was gone. Tolerance creates big problems. When we increase our dose, we need more money to buy more drugs. This endless search for the high caused by tolerance often gets us into trouble.